you can't just go back to normal. It's just something that still remains with you psychologically. I found it really hard to tell people initially because obviously I was only 16. So in October 2018, I was diagnosed with brain cancer. So my diagnosis was skin melanoma, which is a form of skin cancer. My name's Eleanor and I'm a third year media production student at Liverpool John Mills University. Um, I hope to one day get my way into the industry, become a videographer. My name's Isabel, um, I'm 19 and hobbies wise I do makeup and I go to the gym. I like going on walks, not super far ones because <laughs> I'm too lazy for that. just kind of just was thrown into just surgery and then a treatment plan and it was all just a bit, a bit of a blur really. I had a mole on my leg, went to the doctors and they were like oh yeah we'll take it out. On the first day of my GCSE exams in year 11 I went to see the dermatologist and they asked if they could take it out there and then but I was like well I've got my RE exam in an hour now so I had to go back after it and then um, for the rest of my GCSEs I was having like biopsies here and there and then I didn't hear anything until the following September um, and I just thought nothing of it because it was four or five months down the line and then I got told it is cancer so then I had to have a few more surgeries after that but luckily it was just a surgery process for me to remove the cancer. But I, I didn't deal well with it, to be perfectly honest. I still, I still feel the effects of it now, both the physical effects of it and the mental effects of it. So really my experience was just a bit, it's quite, quite traumatic, but I deal with it, yeah. I found it really hard to tell people initially because obviously I was only 16. Um, and most of my school friends were like not the best about it um, but I really did find who my true friends were and like who actually cared and a few of the people were ones that I hadn't expected to step up that did which was nice in a way and it was kind of bittersweet of losing friends but obviously they weren't meant to be in my life but I felt like it put a lot of strain on my family because they were worried about me, but I was worried about them worrying about me and it just makes everything so complicated. Because I was at a point in my life as an 18 year old, I saw all my friends finish their A-levels and leave home and go to uni and start that new chapter. Whereas I was just sort of trapped in this this bubble that you couldn't break until you were better as such and that was quite difficult watching everyone just move away and start those new adventures and just kind of feeling like it's not it wasn't there it's it's, it's not their fault, but it, it just kind of felt like I was being left behind. It's like really affected my mental health, so I'm on antidepressants and anti-anxieties because even like the little things after you've had that cancer diagnosis, even after you've got the all clear, it's like, oh, I've got a headache, what if it's this? Oh, I've got a sore foot, like, and you overthink everything medically and you kind of start to imagine things going wrong and 
it just creates like a world of anxiety and you do feel down, where well, I do feel down on myself a lot about it. just everything was heightened. My worries, anxiety, sort of just feeling very isolated, really, going through that. But I did receive a lot of help and my family and friends were so supportive and I couldn't have asked for better people to help me get through that period of time. I used to wear a turban to hide that and it, it it was hard because all I wanted to do really was just look like everyone else and be able to just look like me. My thing after having cancer was I don't ever want to look ill. So I lost a lot of weight and I was pale. And so now for me, when someone comments on me being skinny, I hate it because I'm like, yeah, I know I've been ill and I'm working on that. And it's like, literally, I fake tan religiously because I never want to look ill. I received a great deal of like support, which was just lovely, really. Um, Teenage Cancer Trust, Frankie, one of the youth supporters, got me involved in a lot of group activities where I'd meet other people going through the same things, whether they had just finished treatment, whether they were still going through treatment, whatever stage they were at, they were supported and I was supported. I'm Frankie and I'm a Teenage Cancer Trust Youth Sport Coordinator at Class of Bridge. As a young person with cancer, you already have all those other issues that are going on in the world for young people. You are able to offer them a service that can help them feel like themselves again, can help them regain a sense of normality or a sense of self in, in a situation where there's a loss of control, there's a loss of identity, a loss of sense of self. So being able to help young people regain those is really important. Everyone else is excited I'd finished treatment. Or I kind of just thought, like, what, what do I do now, really? What happens now? It felt, it felt really good. Like, obviously, that's all you ever want it after your diagnosis. But the anxiety of it still didn't go. You still have the, is it going to come back? But I think the further you get from your all clear dates, the more confidence you have that you're going to stay all clear. Yeah, definitely, my outlook on life has. I think I grew up really fast because the years of like 16, 17 and 18 when I should have been worrying about oh, what dress am I going to wear to this party and does this boy like me, I was worried about what's going to happen to like me, like where am I going to be in a week's time, am I going to be okay? So I think it's made me realise like you just need to enjoy the little things in life, like whatever it is. The feelings that you're experience in the normal and it will pass you get through it and life can be normal again maybe not the normal you had before but it it goes on and you can experience and look forward to a lot of new memories a lot of new things to do so that I think the main piece of advice would just be look forward to the future there is a future past the treatment and you will be happy again.